Well, happy Easter. I realize this is not my Easter attire, but I'm filming this on Saturday night. But um, we're gonna do something today because we're either gonna go to a brunch or a dinner. And so I have um, five tips to survive a holiday dinner. The first tip, rest up. Rest up the night before a holiday by getting at least seven hours of sleep. A recent study has shown that after a short night's sleep, adults ate about an extra 300 calories and tended to choose higher fat, higher calorie foods. When women lack sleep, they may feel less full after eating while men tend to have an increased appetite. By getting your Z's, you'll save calories and make healthier choices. Uh, the second thing you wanna do, choose wisely. Choose your first buffet pick wisely. Research suggests that you'll consume the largest quantity of the food you eat first. So set yourself up for success by starting with something low calorie. Try fresh veggies and hummus over chips and creamy dip to save 120 calories per serving. The third tip, pour wisely. Count one, two, three when pouring yourself a glass of wine to get an estimated five ounce serving. Don't rely on just filling up a glass halfway. Since many glasses are half full with 10 ounces of wine, which quickly turns that 125 calorie, calorie glass into a 250 calorie one. Number four, downsize your plate. Downsize your plate to trick it into thinking you are eating more. According to the Calorie Control Council, the average number of calories eaten at a holiday dinner is a shocking 3,000 calories, and that doesn't even count your pre-dinner snacking. Use an appetizer or salad plate instead of a dinner plate and eat 40% less, cutting about 1,200 calories. And number five, think small. Take sm smaller sips and bites to trick your brain into eating 30% fewer calories. Studies find that when you take nibbles, chew your food longer and eat slower, your brain thinks you've eaten more. So don't nibble, don't gobble that pecan pie. By taking smaller bites and chewing more, you'll naturally eat less, saving around 143 calories per serving. So at our meeting today, they handed out a paper, and I'm gonna show it to you now, of uh, just to get a general idea of how much points are in different items that you might eat. I'm shocked, shocked I tell you, shocked. So let me, um, let me show them to you now. Well, I'm not a big beef brisket person, but let me tell you, I do like ham, but that's loaded with sodium. And um, I've never had a lamb chop. I do love my potato salad, and I do love my baked beans. But um, as you can see, even if you have a sweet potato, a half a cup is five smart points. They're basing this on eating at a brunch. This is not stuff you would have made at home. Because obviously at, uh, when you're eating out, they're going to be using um, a lot of what you call like um, cream sauces and, you know, butter. And they're just not going to be doing it as well as we would have been doing it at home. Because, uh, you know what, the Kodiak's uh, point for a half a cup, which is probably a six inch one, is only five points. So that makes a difference. But look at that, 12 points for a half, a quarter cup of uh, syrup. And, you know, I do love my orange juice. So, uh, and the bacon, obviously they're not going to use center cut because that costs more. That's why it's more smart points. And the bagels that I buy are a lender's bagel, which are like a smaller size, and that's why it's only three. But when you eat a bagel out, they're obviously bigger. And we all know about the jelly and the jam. And the, even though eggs are free for the scrambled eggs, you know that they're using probably heavy cream, or they're at least using uh, whole milk. So, that lists all of that. Boy, that was a shocker for me. Okay, and I'll end with all I need to know about life. I learned from the Easter Bunny. Number one, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Walk softly and carry a big carrot. Everyone needs a friend who's all ears. There's no such thing as too many carrots. All work and no play 
can make you a basket case. Let happy thoughts multiply like rabbits. Some body, some body parts just are meant to be floppy. Keep your paws off of other people's jelly beans. You know, the grass is always greener in someone else's basket. An Easter bonnet can tame even the wildest hair. Hair, H-A-R-E. To show your true colors, you have to come out of your shell. And the best thing in life are sweet and gooey. You guys are all so sweet to me, and you're so gooey. I love it. So I want you all to have a happy, happy Easter. And I'm going to wish you and your family many, many happy Easter blessings. And thank you so much for all you do for me. I really appreciate it. But uh, with all that being said, enjoy your Easter. And if you do splurge, just remember, tomorrow, right back on track. We're not going to let one day define our whole week. One day, one meal. Might be more than one meal. But it's only one day. Monday, we're back at it. So have a happy, happy Easter.